I, I would be a much tougher candidate. You seem I, pretty comfortable I, out there debating. Is, it, is that your... Oh, I'm very comfortable you, out there. You like that? I think one of the more interesting lines of the night, I don't think Ron Paul particularly liked it, and that is that you kill America's enemies. Well, I think that's true. I mean, I, the instinct of the American people is to say, you're going to come to New York City and kill 3,100 Americans, and you want us to go through some legal mumbo-jumbo if we can kill you? Legal mumbo-jumbo if we Legal mumbo jumbo with legal mumbo jumbo with. Give me a break. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we want a country that's safe because our enemies respect us and fear us. We don't want a country so locked up in lawyers that we're getting attacked all the time. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, Mr. Speaker, good to see you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thanks. And Frank once gave you a lot of credit tonight for the first standing ovation in the debate. So it's amazing. I bet you're pretty happy. And coming up next, former Pennsylvania Senator Rick Santorum. He's here as we continue live from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. That plus analysis from Juan Williams, Dick Morris, and much, much more straight ahead. This is something that is an intellectual fight. It's an intellectual. We have to know what we want. We have to be convinced that freedom works.